Good evening, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. We are delighted that you are here tonight to celebrate and to worship our God. It's awesome to be with you. On behalf of Randy Roberts and the pastoral staff, my name is Doug Mace, and we just love having you here. Did you know, I was just explaining this to someone, um, but Randy, I was going to mention this to you. This is probably a record. We have hosted the Heritage Singers in this church three times in one year. Last year, it was November 27, and we're within a day of one year, and we couldn't be more delighted. How many were here for all three of those, uh, those concerts? All right. Some of you, well, quite a few of you. How many are hearing Heritage Singers for the first time tonight? Really? Praise the Lord. You are in for a treat. There's a very special relationship between Loma Linda University Church and the Heritage Singers. We used to try to guess, but it has been so long. It's close to, uh, I think it's close to 40 some years that they have been coming to Loma Linda University Church throughout the year. But in the recent decades, there has been kind of this, uh, this special relationship with Thanksgiving Sabbath. They always join us for the Sabbath immediately following Thanksgiving. And it's a real joy because we get to praise and worship our God. Amen? And we always love to, uh, to reminisce about these wonderful songs. How many consider themselves to be a heritage singer connoisseur? You were with them back in the 70s. Wow. Oh, that's awesome. How many have been recently introduced to the heritage singers, like in the last five or 10 years? Okay. Wow. We have a lot of folks that follow the work of the heritage singers. It's been two years since we've lost our precious Max Mace, uh, November of uh, 2020. And uh, I am so proud of the Heritage Singers and uh, my cousin, Val Mace, who is now the director, and uh, moving forward with such a beautiful, beautiful ministry. And we uh, are going to enjoy some of the nostalgia and some new songs as well. I think there's some Christmas music this evening as well. So we're delighted that you're here, and we thank you for coming to Loma Linda University Church and being a part of our family tonight as we worship. Let's bow our heads and ask the Lord to be with us. Father in heaven, we love you. We sense your presence already. Dear Lord, prepare our hearts to worship and to sing and to reflect upon your goodness. Dear Lord, we want to ever be thankful for the blessings and to look forward to what you are going to do based on what you have done, which is always amazing. Dear Lord, we thank you for the music, and we thank you for the ministry of the Heritage Singers. In Jesus' name, amen. Won't you make them feel welcome, Val Mace and the Heritage Singers. Everybody about us says, tear that old lighthouse down. The big ships 
They just don't pass this way anymore. So there's no use in standing round. Then my mind goes back to that one dark, stormy night when just in time I saw the light. Yes, it was the light from that old lighthouse that stands up there on the hill. the song will you sing with us
Yes. He'll go with me all the way, every day, in the valley, on the mountaintop. He is with us. And tonight, you all uh, are in for a treat because you're going to hear a lot of those older songs. Uh, we recently uh, put out an album just this weekend, actually. It came out last night on iTunes and Spotify, but it's a tribute uh, to Max Mace, and uh, it's, it's why all of us are here tonight, uh, is Max Mace, and uh, I know the family, Val and Greg and Art, they took a lot of time, they talked to a lot of us singers, and we talked about what were Max's favorite songs, uh, what were the, uh, the messages that he clung to the most, the messages that he cherished uh, the very most, and I'm just so honored tonight to be here in this room with you all. Uh, we have two goals in mind. One is, first and foremost, to glorify uh, the one who is, has the name that is above every name. Amen. His name is, is faithful and true. His name is King of Kings, and his name is Lord of Lords, and he's worthy of our praise tonight. And I want to encourage you, you can loosen up in this space a bit. Maybe you didn't come in feeling like giving praise and honor to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, but that's got to change because we're going to ask you to sing a little bit tonight. We're going to worship together as a family tonight. And that leads me to the reason, the second reason we're here tonight is because uh, the founder of this group, the man that meant so much to so many of us on this platform, so many others that came before us, so many of you sitting in this room tonight. Max loved to hear the people of God singing the promises of God and the praises of God together. And so we're going to do that tonight. Are you ready for that? Well, one of, uh, one of Max's favorite songs, we're going to sing another from the new, new album tonight. One of his favorite songs, and I think it's probably because it features me. Um, but I actually think this next song uh, it was a song that was sort of Max's testimony. It's a song called Something Beautiful, and so many of you are going to know it, and I want you to sing along with me if you do. If you don't know it, don't sing, because that just messes everybody up <laughs> around you, but this is about a life that gave everything he had, the imperfect things, the broken things, and the beautiful things. And God made something beautiful out of Max's life and out of our lives. Something beautiful. Something good. All my If there ever were dreams that were lofty and noble, they were my dreams at the start. And the hope for life's best were the hopes that I harbored down deep in my heart. But my dreams turn the ashes, my castles are crumbled, my fortune turned to loss. So I wrap them all in the rags of my life, and I lay Yeah. 
It's the last mile you must try. I'll fall asleep and wake in God's new heaven. Sheltered safe within the arms of God. song we're going to sing, it speaks of the power of our words, the power of our praise, when the enemy loves to steal from us hope and joy and peace. What we say, what we think, our attitude, what comes out of our mouth, it matters. I want to read to you an excerpt from a book, excuse me, that I think just sets this next song up really well. It was a Wednesday night church service when the lyrics to a familiar song I had sung many times before suddenly held fresh revelation and meaning. I love it when God does that. I stood there, arms raised, singing words that resonated so deeply within my heart and mind and my circumstances. Here are some of the words that we sang. I raise a hallelujah in the presence of my enemies. I raise a hallelujah louder than my unbelief. I raise a hallelujah with everything inside of me. I raise a hallelujah in the middle of the mystery. I'm going to sing in the middle of the storm. Louder and louder, you're going to hear my praises roar. Up from the ashes, hope will arise. Death is defeated. The king is alive. The Spirit's message to my soul was this. Don't ever let the storm soften your voice or stop your song. You keep singing, and you sing it stronger and clearer. A storm is not the time to go soft or sing soft. It's the exact time to sing louder. Let your praises roar. You see, our God is the Lion of Judah, and the lion doesn't back down when the enemy advances. That lion lets out a roar and looks straight at that enemy with an authority and a power that declares you don't stand a chance. You see, the kingdom of God is superior. It is light. Darkness is always the inferior power. And the authority and power I carry because of Jesus comes from the kingdom of light. Storms will come. Hardships. They'll come. The attacks will come. But how I respond will make all the difference. Will I respond with declarations or words of fear? 
or of victory? Will I respond with declarations or words of defeat or words of power? You see, life and death are in the power of the tongue. We often speak death over our life, and we speak life over our enemy, when we really need to be speaking life in the storm and death to the enemy. Satan roams around like a lion, seeking whom he may destroy. He's looking for an open door, an opportunity to kill to steal and destroy, and he disguises himself as a lion because all he can do is play dress up and pretend. There's only one lion of Judah, and his name is Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world, the King sitting on the throne at the right hand of the Father, the beginning and the end. He's the final say, the author of life, He's the just judge, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, the name above every name. The fake lion is the king of the inferior kingdom of darkness. And the scriptures say that he must bow to the name that is above every name, Jesus. So if I'm walking in the power and the authority of the greater kingdom, the one of which I am a citizen, then why, why am I allowing this fake lion to intimidate me, to lie to me, to steal from me? You know, it's one thing to raise our hallelujahs in celebration. It's quite another to raise our hallelujahs in the storm. Which hallelujah do you think confounds and frustrates the enemy more? Which hallelujah takes my timidity and turns it into a mighty roar? It's the hallelujah that's raised in faith. It's the hallelujah that believes the one who says he is faithful will be faithful. That hallelujah has the power to take what I feel and make it bow the knee to what I know. That hallelujah takes my burden and carries it so I don't have to. When I surrender my worry and doubt in my sacrifice of praise, I'm strengthening myself in the Lord, just like David did. I'm also reminding the fake lion who he is and who I am. Courage, it rises up. My trust is made stronger. My peace becomes weightier and my joy is made fuller. When your up begins to strut, it shatters all your dreams. And your hopes have been crushed by Satan's manifested schemes. And you feel the urge within you to submit to earthly fears. Don't let the faith you're standing in seem to disappear. Praise the Lord. He can work through those who pray. God inhabits praise, praise the Lord, for the chains that seem to bind you serve only to remind you that they drop powerless behind you when you pray. Now Satan is alive, and he wants to make us think that we are paupers when he knows himself we're children of the king so lift up the mighty shield of faith for the battle must be won we know that jesus christ has risen so the world For 
the chains that seem to bind you serve only to remind you that they drop powerless behind you when you pray. Praise the Lord, He can work through those who praise Him, praise the Lord, for a God inhabits the race, praise the Lord, for the chains that seem to bind you, serve only to remind you that they drop powerless behind you when you pray. When you praise praise the Lord, when you praise praise praise
Can we just hear the voices in this room? It's just a big choir in this place right now. I love the message of that song. Can we just remember that together? Can you sing? Great is thy faithfulness, O God, my Father. There is no, there is no shadow turning with thee. Thou changest not. Thou changest not thy compass. They fail not. They, yeah. As thou, as thou has been, thou forever will. All right, let me hear all the parts now. Sing it with me. Great is thy faith. Yes. Oh, great is thy Morning and morning by morning, new mercies I come on, believe this when you sing this next part. Sing all I provide great is thy faith. 
sing that again. Great, great is thy, great is thy, great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Has he been faithful to you? Can we thank our Lord? You folks are a beautiful choir. Will you come and on the road with us? You know, we'll just get like a big bus or something and, and you all can come with us. That was beautiful. I know how much God loves to hear us lift our voices in praise. To piggyback on what Melody was saying, especially in the really challenging times. At this time of year, I look around and I see beautiful Christmas decorations and we eat good food. We feel so good. We feel happy. We're, we're with people that we love, family, friends. It's really easy to see God in that stuff, right? Nature. So many beautiful things. But it can get really, really hard when you're down in the valley of the shadow and you're looking up at this insurmountable mountain. And you're wondering where God is, why he left you there, why you have to go through these circumstances. Those are the times we have to praise, dig deep and praise even more, right? You see, God tells us as, as Christ followers that we're not going to have an easy life. If you have an easy life, I thank God for that, and I praise God for that for you. But for those of us who haven't, the Bible talks specifically about that, right? It says you're going to have trouble. You're going to have problems. And you think Satan's going to let Christians off easy? No way. We're going to get it worse because of what we stand for, right? I was reading this week uh, beautiful words of Paul in Romans. Romans is probably one of my favorite books of the Bible, actually. There's just so many nuggets of good stuff in there about Jesus Christ. And I was just reading about how we have so much assurance of the love of God, especially in those dark times, those challenging times. Romans 8, 35, can anything ever separate us from Christ's love? Does it mean he no longer loves us if we have trouble or calamity or are persecuted or hungry or destitute or in danger or threatened with death. As the scriptures say, for your sake, we are killed every day. We're being slaughtered like sheep. No, despite all these things, overwhelming victory is ours through Christ who loved us. Okay, here's one of my favorite parts right here. 838, verse 38. And I am convinced that nothing can ever separate us from God's love. Neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor demons, neither our fears for today, nor our worries about tomorrow, not even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love. No power in the sky above or in the earth below. Indeed, nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is revealed in Christ Jesus our Lord. You see, in these hard times, we can really, really see the true nature of God, the true character of God come out when we recognize our full and complete, utter, total dependence on Him, 
He's it. That's it. Just him. That's when I believe that his, his true character can be revealed in our lives. He loves us so much, and I just want to encourage you tonight, if you're facing a mountain that just seems too big, just remember there's nothing that can separate us from our Savior, from Jesus Christ. And until that day when he returns to take us home, we will hold on to these promises and we'll say, God, please show yourself to me in these times. And I know that there are so many of you out there that are, that are dealing with a lot of stuff right now. And maybe you're very private. And this is speaking to you. And I want to reassure you tonight of the presence of God in your life. He has not left you. He promised he would always be with us, even unto the end of the age. But then he's going to come back and get us, right? So we're never going to be alone. And I thank God for that tonight. Sometimes the 
because he lives. When I was young, I wondered why I was put on this earth. Why am I here, Lord? It just seems like a lot of folks go through life and they're miserable. And he has impressed me over my life to, to, and told me two things, Doug, I need you to do. I want you to praise and worship me and I want you to care for others. That's a good life. When I'm with, when I'm with the church, I'm worshiping God. So we've, we've had a lot of worship in this sanctuary this morning. It's been wonderful, just wonderful. And now all evening long, we are in worship, amen. We are doing what God designed us to do. He's a living God who wants to walk with us, who wants a relationship with us. He inspires us through worship to care for those seated to your right and to your left and out in the world. Music does that. Music can touch us. And it's good to be in worship. Friends, the Heritage Singers come and they provide a wonderful season of worship for us, but they don't do it for, for free. They do it with our offering. Literally, there's no ticket at the door, but they do it for the offering that we raise tonight, right now, and for the, the records that they sell. I can't believe it, but many years ago, about 50, 1972, Max had this idea to get on a bus and to, to sing and to just collect offerings to support them. That was crazy. And yet, through the years and through people who believed in the ministry, the Heritage Singers maintained a life and provided worship for so many thousands. Friends, we have an opportunity to minister back to the Heritage Singers tonight with our offerings. And I ask that you'll dig deep and you'll give them a wonderful offering. We take just a small percentage to maintain the sanctuary and we give the whole amount, except for that small part, to the Heritage Singers. And so we appreciate that you doing that. I'd like to ask the, the deacons to come forward that we might have a, a word of prayer and ask the Lord to bless this offering and to minister back to the Heritage Singers. Let's bow our heads. Father in heaven, we just love you and we sense your presence. Dear Lord, we are in worship right now and we have a part to play to respond to the Holy Spirit. Also, Lord, we have an opportunity to give back and we ask that you will give us an open heart, a happy heart as we give. We thank you for what we've experienced tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. You know, I'm, I'm sitting there listening to this wonderful music and I want to invite my cousin Val out. Uh, I was listening to all this wonderful music and thinking about the memories and, and I've been doing that all year long, it seems, Val. But uh, these, these songs really, really touch me. And so I want to see if they touch you too. Now, I'm going to play a little game with you. I'm going to read some lyrics, and I want you to tell me if you know, where's my, where's my, uh, is it there, honey? I got it. Is my phone there? I want to know if you know any of these songs. Thank you. I thought I was prepared. Okay. So if you know the, this song, then you will get a free, no, you won't. You'll get nothing. <laughs> I was going to say, there's a free album underneath your seat right now, but that's not true. <laughs> so tell me if you know the song that these lyrics go to, okay? It seems that everyone about us says, tear that old lighthouse down. The Big Ships. Do you know that one? Raise your hand if you know that one. All right, that's an easy one. That's an easy one. It's called, uh, the, there's a lighthouse on the hillside, or lighthouse. Okay, now this is going to get a little tougher. Raise your hand if you know this song. I don't know about tomorrow. I just live from day to day. Do you know that? Raise your hand. Okay. I know who holds tomorrow. Oh, I love that song. How about this one? Soon I shall hear the call from heaven's portals. Come home, my child. It's the last mile you must trod. Do you know that one? We just heard it, so I hope you know it. What's the name of that song? 
sheltered in the arms of God. This is a song that we have kind of forgotten, and Heritage Singers is ushering it back into our present day. But I remember singing this song at the bedside of someone who was passing away. And they got great comfort in that. And this is the big one here. Do you know this one? There's a greater glory, I'm sorry, gentle shepherd, come and lead us, for we need you to help us find our way. Gentle shepherd, do you know that? Raise your hand, do you know that? It's called gentle shepherd. <laughs> I'm just seeing if you're awake and I can tell you are. Friends, all of those songs are on this new album and there is a acapella rendition of Gentle Shepherd that when you hit play, it's just that ah moment. Gentle Shepherd, come and lead us. All of those songs are on the new album and I understand that that album will be available tonight. For the first time. For the first time ever, that's right. And I'm a pastor so I'm not here to sell anything. But I'm going to hand it off to Val, and we hope that you take the music home with Heritage Singers. We are so excited to be back at Loma Linda, and it feels like every time yeah. we have a new album, you're the first people that gets it, and that would make my dad so happy. Um, this album means so much to us. Um, a, lot of, a lot of heart went into this, knowing that these were my dad's favorite songs, and I think that you'll really love it and we're so excited that we have it tonight so it's also streaming on itunes amazon spotify all that as well but um if you want to be the first ones to get it it's going to be over in that room over there so come over there it's called a heritage singers tribute to max mace so i think that's a very fitting title for him don't you think i do i do we had so much fun doing this and remembering all the all the good times that we, we shared with our beloved Max and uh, doing those songs, um, it, was, it was great. It was a great privilege. There is a, an arrangement of King is Coming coming up, and to be honest with you, I was never a fan of that song. <laughs> My dad loved it, but I wasn't so much, but I got to tell you, this new version is really, really special. I think you'll love it. You got to stay to the end to hear it, so don't yeah. go anywhere. We um, also want to um, make sure that as the holidays are coming in that you don't forget to grab the Christmas album to share with those around you. Give it as a gift. As the song says, give it away. Give it away. And um, we want, we're going to have that tonight as well. But Val, tell us a little bit about the packages. I know that last August we were here for camp meeting. We gave a camp meeting special. Do we have any of that stuff back? Yes. Um we brought these uh, songbooks from home called Spirit of Praise, and we just flew through them. We sold them for $2, and people were like, why didn't you think we'd buy more than that? Well, I have thought that now, and I brought a lot of boxes of these, so we won't run out. So if you're interested in this songbook, um, I think it's our only songbook we have with the Spirit of Praise album. We have it back there tonight. We also brought the um, beloved coloring book in Bear, Heritage, uh, Heritage Bear. Um, it's small, and we brought those last August as well, and we sold out, and everybody was really, really sad that they sold out. So we brought plenty of these, $5 tonight, so don't uh, hesitate to come and uh, grab one of these. We also have specials, um, special packages that will be back there. Um, we want you to come and see them and grab them. Um, we have our t-shirts for $5. You want to make sure to get a t-shirt, take it with you for $5. Okay, um, I'm going to, this might be difficult, but I want to try and see, okay, who is the oldest person that has followed Heritage from the very beginning? Okay, so is there anyone here tonight that's 90 years old? No? In the back? Okay. Oh, there's two. Okay, 91? 91? Anybody 91? Mm. Right up here? Okay. Over 93? There. Back there, 93 back there. 94. Do you see one? Okay, 95. Can we, the 94, 94 stand? I didn't see anybody with 95. Can she? Can, do we have a night? Okay, congratulations. We're going to give you our book. Can you stay standing? We want to give you a gift. I'm going to have one of the 
Heritage kids come up. Oh, there, we have Randy going on giving. Please stay standing. 94 years old. This book is really special. It was written about how Heritage started and miracle after miracle, how God provided. Um, we wouldn't even have enough money to get diesel, and we'd open the mailbox, and there would be a check for just the right amount of money to get us to the next concert. And just God's blessing and protection. I think you'll really like it. And it's on sale for $10 tonight. $10, yes. Well, I don't know. Does it, it, who is here for the first time? Anybody here for the first? Oh, my goodness. I don't have enough books to give away. But she got it first because she raised her hand up really, really, uh, really fast. Go ahead and stand. Thank you so much. We are so glad that you are here. Okay, we think it's time to sing some Christmas songs. Are you okay with that? Okay. Come on out, Herod Singers. Just welcome in that beautiful Christmas season um, with that wonderful songs, those wonderful, that wonderful melody. My name is Miguel Verazas. I actually grew up not too far away from here, down in Palm Springs, California. Went to school at Mesa Grande Academy, which is just down the street. I am a Southern California boy, born and raised here. 
But my family and I make our home in the Northern California area where I pastor. I love pastoring, work with the youth. I have so much fun being able to tell these uh, youth about Jesus. It's my favorite thing to do. Um, I love to sing, but there's nothing greater than sharing the love of Jesus with somebody. And I love doing it. Um, my family, my wife and my two kids, they are with Grandpa uh, this evening. So they're just in the Simi Valley area, um, hanging out with family there. Annalise turned five in October, this last October. Can't believe she's five years old and she's going to be going to kindergarten in this next fall. I can't believe it. And Noah is going to be one in a couple of weeks, uh, the first, uh, actually, for, uh, yeah, a couple of weeks, we're going to be celebrating his birthday and um, a week or so, I think, and he's going to be one years old. But man, time really does fly. It's so good to be here, and I was very surprised to see on this side, walking in, um, some really amazing people. Now, I have really, really enjoyed being part of this group, and Max and Lucy and this uh, wonderful Heritage family have taken us in and have loved us like their own. But my mom and dad are here tonight. Hi, mom and dad. Stand up, mom and dad. I love you very much. Thank you so much for all you've done and um, for the support. And I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them and for a lot of people in my life. God bless you. Thank you so much for coming out and praising the Lord with us. Good evening, everyone. My name is Cindy Hafner. I'm originally from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, but I make my home with my wonderful husband who's here somewhere. Oh, he's right there in the third row. Stand up, honey. I won't embarrass you. There you go. His name is Eddie. In fact, he was born right here in Loma Linda, so it's like home for him, even though he doesn't remember it because he was born. Never mind. Anyway, my beautiful daughter, Amanda, and her wonderful husband, David, and my can-do-no-wrong two-year-old grandson is also here. I think they're in the, in the um, mother's room. Wave. Here you are. <laughs> anyway, it's a blessing to be able to be with family, especially this time of year. Um, I started singing with the group back in, I came from Canada down back in 1978, and I've been still singing off and on with this amazing family who I love so dearly. Um, and I'm so glad that everyone is here tonight, and I hope you all had a wonderful blessing. Happy Thanksgiving. And I guess that's it. I sing alto. Good evening, everyone. My name is Dave Bell, and I grew up, I was, I was born actually right here in Loma Linda, California, right here at the University Hospital. And uh, so it's always great to be back in my old stomping ground here. Um, I teach at Pacific Union College uh, whenever the classes are going, but on the weekends on special trips, oh, some PUCites, all right, cool. All right, go Pioneers, huh? All right. Um, but uh, on the weekends and special trips, I'm out who are the Heritage Singers. Started singing with this group 40 years ago, and it's just, it's just been such a huge part of my life. This is, this is family up here. You know, we, we even like to get together when we're not singing. You know, we, you know there are some groups where they, they can't stand each other and they try to get away from each other unless they have to be together, but, but we love to get together and spend time and talk and, and eat. We like to eat. Yes, we do. Um, my wonderful wife, Susan, of uh, 32 years, she's, uh, she's at home tonight, probably watching on the video. So, oh, hi, Susie, miss you. But uh, I'll get to see her again tomorrow. Thank you again for coming out tonight. Good evening, everyone. My name is Melody Davis, and I've been singing with this group for a very long time. Not quite as long as some people up here, but almost 30 years. Um, I sing soprano with my BF over here. Um, my family's here tonight. I want to introduce them real quick. Our son, oh, first of all, uh, we live in the Los Angeles area, Tim and I, my husband, a lot of you know him. 
um, we moved up there. And um, our son recently moved to San Diego, but he's here tonight. Christian, stand up. He's 25. And he brought his girlfriend. Some of you may know her. Her name is Annalise Mace. <laughs> And then our daughter, Summer Joy, is here. Stand up. Wave. And then I have the privilege of having both my parents here tonight as well. Gigi and Grandpa, stand up and say hi to everybody. <laughs> anyway, thank you for coming out. Thank you for worshiping with us. And um, that's it. Hello everyone, my name is Tim Calhoun and I live right here in Loma Linda, California uh, with my lovely wife and three sons. Are they here? Huh? Oh, balcony. Oh, they're up there. I can't see up there right now, but they're here. I've been singing with the group since 1999 and I sing tenor. Pretty sure it went in tonight. God bless you all. Thank you all for coming. Hello everyone, my name is Shani Jadil and I also am a local here. I live just down the road in Redlands. And since everybody's embarrassing their family members, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same with mine. <laughs> okay, so I know, first of all, my in-laws. Where are they? Oh, they're over there. I was looking for you over here. Okay, let me start first of all with my, my mother-in-law. A lot of people know the Deal family. Lily Deal, who uh, is a very accomplished uh, pianist and singer and piano teacher in the area and very well loved here at the church. Lily, mom, so glad you're here. Thank you for coming to support. And dad is, oh, there's dad. You're not even sitting next to mom? Dad, is everything okay? <laughs> I'm just kidding. If there were any, ever any two people that were very in love, it's the two of you, for sure. Hans and Lily Deal, my mother and father-in-law. And then um, I've got my own mother here as well. Her name is Jan, and wave mum, Jan Judd. And I can give my mother credit for, for well, and my father too, for my uh, music ability. I was just saturated with music from birth. and. That song, Something Beautiful, that we sang, that was on my mum's first LP record that she ever recorded in Australia. Yes. She is also a very accomplished singer, so I'm just going to embarrass her a little bit. Um, and then my two precious treasures, my husband Byron and my son Matthew. Wave, Maddie Moo. Thanks, buddy. Ah, I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed. I'm also so blessed to have been a part of this group now for well over half my life. And as Dave said, this is, these people are like family to me. They're just so special. I'm so blessed and honored to be a part of this group. And, and uh, yeah, that's it. I sing alto and I'm just really glad to be here with you guys. Thank you for coming out and sharing a holiday evening with us. Well, hey, everybody. My name is Scott Reed. I now live in Los Angeles, California as well, just up the road from here. Uh, I've been singing with the group for almost 29 years, since 94, uh, when they came to Pacific Union College and let me audition. I don't know how I made it, but I made it. And uh, that was a long time ago. I'm so grateful to be here. I also have my beautiful family with me tonight. Uh, I'll just make you wave. You don't have to stand up, but just wave. My wife, uh, Holly, of 23 years, uh, she's just beautiful as ever. 23 years. I have my two boys, 20-year-old Tommy and 16-year-old Brandon. Uh, all right, look, we'll make you. All right, Val says you got to stand up. All three of you do it. Yeah. Come on. No, do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. Yeah, yeah. Handsome boys. Handsome. I mean, they're not so much for smarts or talent, but boy, <laughs> they are good looking. And you can go somewhere in the world with just that. So keep your hopes up, guys. Um, but I just want to say real quick before I'm done that, uh, that just on, I, I know Doug just did a great job of honoring 
uh, Val and Greg, but how neat is it, you guys? I'm a dad, and, and uh, so, so many of you are parents in this room. How amazing is it to have uh, your kids want to carry on the thing that was so precious to you that God birthed in you, uh, and that gets passed on uh, through the lineage? I just think that's so beautiful. I'm so proud of you, Val. I'm so proud of you, Greg, and I know how proud your dad was. Uh, and uh, we love you guys. So grateful. Can we give it up for Val and Greg? Come on. Hello, my name is Val Mace Mappa, and I've had the privilege of being part of this ministry for the past 51 years. Can you believe it? 51 years. Um, my mom is home tonight. Hi, Mama. She's watching. She said to tell you all hi. Um, the guy in the back is my brother, and we both started when we were just little kids. Now we're big kids. <laughs> um, he has his own sound and lighting company, uh, GJM Sound, and we couldn't do it without him. And his family is home tonight, Adriani and Bella and Amber. And um, Greg, go ahead and stand up. I know you love this part. You want to stand up. But good job, Greg. Uh, this uh, cute guy over here on the end, sorry guys, I'm talking about this guy on the end, there, that one. That's my husband of 31 years, his name is Art Mappa, and he did all the orchestration you hear on these new tracks, I think he did an amazing job. And he, as you can see, plays guitar. Um, behind him over there in the back is my son Austin. Mappa, Austin, stand up. Austin's playing drums tonight. He works full time for our ministry. He does all of our paying of bills, bookkeeping, etc., and wears a lot of hats. Super blessed to get to work with him every day. And he married the most precious girl ever, which is now my daughter. Her name is Chloe Nicole. Chloe, stand up. <laughs> Chloe is a kindergarten first grade teacher in uh, Placerville. She just, this is her first year teaching there at his old school. So it's full circle, it's awesome. Uh, this keyboard player right here with the long luscious locks, <laughs> it's Joel Yamali. Okay, Joel's from Redlands. Learned something new tonight. <laughs> He's playing keyboard tonight, and he has a beautiful wife, Wendy, and a beautiful daughter, Abby. Where are you guys at? Stand up. Be proud. It's a beautiful little family there. And last but not least is uh, Nino Ocampo. Um, you started back with us in what year? 79. Nino started back there. He was just a little teenage boy. But uh, he's a nurse at the Children's Hospital, is that right? And Joel is a dentist for whoever opens their mouth yeah. and what needs work, right? <laughs> oh, who? Oh, yeah, Nino's family. Please stand up. Oh, hi. We also have some other family that's here. He's not up on stage, but Marcelo. Stand up. Marcelo sang with us for several years, and his beautiful family, Betty Sue, children. Don't, just stand up. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, we're going to continue on with our Christmas music, but I'm so thankful you're here tonight. And this is just one of our places to be, and thank you, Pastor Randy. Uh, I wish we were here every week. <laughs> we really love this church. Anyway, thanks for coming out. Mary, did you know it's your baby boy? One day walk on water. Mary, did you know? your baby. 
we need to do? We, we need to sing some carols. Do you love singing carols? Have any of you gotten carolers at your door yet this year? I love that. I kind of don't love it because it's intruding on my space, but I love it. Uh, and I feel like we should just carol a little bit together. Give me a good caroling key, Joel. Are we in that? Okay. Uh, how about this? I love this song. Sing this. Oh, come all ye faith. Joyful and triumphant, O come ye, O come ye to Bethlehem. Come and behold, come and behold, born, born the King of A. O come, let's hear, O come. Let's hear the harmonies too. Come on. Oh, come, let us adore. Oh, come, let us adore. Him, Christ. We give you all the glory. Come on, sing that. We give you all the glory. We give you all the For you alone are worthy, come on. And for you alone are worthy. For you alone. Yes, you're worthy, Lord. And for you alone are worthy. Ye Christ alone. How about this? Silent night, holy night. 
All is calm. All is bright. Round yon. Round yon. Oh, that sounds good. Holy. Let's take it up a little higher, Joel. Come on. Son of God loves pure light. Sing this. Silent night. Holy. Son of God. Son. Loves pure light. Love pure light. Radiant beams. Radiant beams. From thy holy face. the dawn with the of redeeming grace Jesus Lord at thy birth Jesus Lord at thy birth big finish now come on Jesus Lord at thy birth amen can we give the Lord a hand tonight. Beautiful. could imagine a king coming down and offering us 
greatest gift. So wrapped, so tiny, so innocent. But his future, his future was set. That he would bring, he was the one who would bring a salvation, freedom. Not very, not very um, keenly did he come, but, and his death was brutal. You know, when I turn on the television and I, and I see all these attacks, these, these things, these wars in Ukraine, and when somebody shows up to Walmart and opens fire, when college students are being killed, just, we know that humanity is wicked. It's because of sin. But then I imagine so long ago, our king of heaven, our king of kings, saying, I have a plan. I'm coming down and I'm going to give humanity hope. He gives us hope. You know, we sing all of these carols, but do you know what we're singing? We're singing the gospel. And no matter what is going on in this world, God is sitting on his throne still. I have to say, church, he is still on his throne. And he is still victorious. And that gift is still relevant for you and for me. That old holy night, so divine. For God sent his only son that whoever believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining. It is the night of our dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and error pining till he appeared and the soul fell its word, a thrill of hope, a weary world rejoices, for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn, fall on your knees, oh he was born, oh, night divine, oh, night, oh, night divine, truly taught us to love His law is love, and His gospel is peace. Change shall He break, for the slave is our brother, and in His name 
all oppression shall cease. Sweet hymns of joy in grateful chorus raise. We let all within us praise His holy name. His Lord, oh, praise His name forever, His power and glory, and the more proclaim His power.
and Jesus himself will be the Lord. Sing it with us this time. That sounds like home to me, like where I want to be. There'll be no tears. There'll be no tears to fill our eyes again. of His grace. As we sing of His grace and glory. Where the saints, where the saints of God will be. All that sounds like home. That sounds like home to That's going to be, you know, Max loved songs about heaven. He loved songs about heaven. Because I think Max, for sure himself, he gained such hope and encouragement when he would think about that day coming so soon. Where the book of Revelation says there will be no more tears. There will be no more sorrow. There will be no more death. No more mourning. Behold, I will make all things new. He longed for that, and that brought him a lot of hope and encouragement. But he also knew that we needed that. We forget quickly, don't we? We get our eyes on the things of this world, our eyes on the, the politics. We get our eyes on things that are happening around us in all situations, schools and cities and government and all of it. And, and yet, listen, you realize that Jesus came to teach us about a different kind of kingdom. Yes. He didn't come to solve necessarily the problems of our government here on this earth. He came to teach us a different way, a new kingdom, where the king is on the throne yes. and the king yes. reigns forever and ever, yes. where the king is alive and well and seated at the right hand of the Most High God, right? And I think some of us, and I'm guilty of this, but you ever heard that phrase, you can be so heavenly minded that you're no earthly good? Well, I, first of all, I don't think that's true. I don't think you can ever be too heavenly minded. So let me just say that. But I do think that you can do this. You could be a person that focuses so much on waiting for heaven, waiting for heaven. I can't wait to be in heaven if heaven would just come now, that we miss out on things right here right now, the kingdom of God as he taught us to pray, as on earth as it is in heaven, right? The king is on the throne. He's at the right hand of the Most High, but his kingdom is very alive and very active on this earth. And although we hope in the fact that one day we will be there and all things will be made new and all things will be restored and made right, Jesus has called you and me to be part of his kingdom on this earth as it is in heaven. And Max knew that as well. And Max would hope that tonight, if, if before we leave here, if there's any of you that feel like, you know what, I don't know that I'm fully in 
on what the kingdom of God wants to do in me and through me. I don't even know if I've received his forgiveness before. I feel totally unworthy of it. I've made so many mistakes. There's so much brokenness. We sang it earlier. Uh, he makes something beautiful out of broken things. He came to give beauty for ashes. He came to give gladness for mourning, right? And so I would invite you, and I know Max would want us to do this as a group. He would want to invite you to join this family that stands up on this platform, family uh, that's in this room, family for generations before us, and that will continue on. The family of God, the princes and the princesses of the kingdom of God on this earth as it is in heaven. We're going to sing a song right now that he loved so dearly. And just for Max, we decided to, to redo this song because it's all about hope. It's all about heaven. But I want you to think about something. Yes, the king is coming. Yes, the king is coming. But he's alive now. Yes. He's alive now. And he roars like that mighty lion that Melody talked about earlier. And he wants to accomplish great things on this earth with our neighbors, with our friends, the places he's put you and me in our schools, in our workplaces. Friends, let's be the kingdom of God on this earth as it is in heaven, right? And then let's long for the day when he returns and makes all things right. The king is coming. Marketplace is empty, no more traffic in the streets. All the builders' tools are silent, no more time to harvest weeds. Busy housewives cease their labors in the courtrooms, no debate. Work on earth has been suspended as the king comes to the gates. The king is coming. The king is coming. I just heard the trumpet sounding, and now his face I see. The king Line the hallways Those whose lives have been redeemed Broken homes that he has mended Those in prison he set free Little children and the aged Hand in hand stand all aglow Those who were crippled broken ruin now in garments white as snow I can hear the chariots rumble I can see the marching throng the flurry of God's trumpet spells the end of sin and wrong regal robes are now unfolding Heaven's choir is now assembled, start to sing amazing grace. The King is coming, the King is coming. I just heard the trumpet sounding, and now His face I see. 